Hey guys, I'm Ellie and we're, welcome back to Curves to Create. First of all, I want to point out that in this set that I made for Kira, I used her boxes and another doll's boxes. And it's a good tip to keep those when you get your doll so that you can both put them back in that box and you can use it in case you want to make a set. So first of all, let's start over here with the like kind of crafts room. And I have these mini laundry pins that I've used to put photos up on the wall next to this poster. And I have like crayons and this little pin holding up this camera. Also, for putting these up on the wall, you're going to need sticky tack. Then I have a few other things in here like stickers or Tony's accessories. I have some American Girl books and shrink dinks and then I use this fabric to cover up the game table. Next of all, this is the entry space. There's a little entry right in here. There's a little boot spot. And this is also the kitchen where Kira is having her lunch right now. And some of the items that I used in here were from the school lunch set and Blur's accessories and the dog accessories set. And then over here, we have the bedroom and I have like milk and cookies out and I have this little wooden shelf that I set up with little trinkets that are mine. And once again, I used fabric for the floor and the bed. So three tips you can use when making this set are using the like a wooden box that you paint from Hobby Lobby or like Michaels or any other sort of craft store. And then you can also use little paint chips from any hardware or home design store. They're free, so that's really cute. And then also the boxes, the American Girl doll boxes, you can use them as a bed, like this is a bed, or you can use them for walls, and then you can also keep in mind that the ones that have the circular windows, you can use for um, walls on the side of the house, because it kind of looks like a window outside. And then in the entry, I usually like doing shoes or like 
Usually I hang up a hat or coat.